What's going on, YouTube? I want to talk about blacks pulling each other down for a second, man. Blacks, we pull each other down at all costs. We hate to see each other do better. Jealousy, envy. And you know what? Part of that is because all of us, most of us, was born with nothing. And you ask yourself, why do other races hate to see, love to see each other come up? But see, we were born without nothing. And... Other races, like, of course, white whites was born with a decent amount. So all their friends already have it. So they're pulling each other up because you already have it. And you want to see the next man come up. But when you don't have it and somebody else is eating chicken, rice and corn, and eating good every day, and you come home starving, it's human nature to be jealous. It is, you know. I find myself jealous of others, certain things, not much, but certain things, you got to check that inner jealousy. Um, for instance, other videographers, I'm a videographer, and I see other videographers that are 10 times better than me, and I'm like, damn, I can't do none of that, and I don't want to subscribe to their page because I'm jealous. Then I got to check that, like, wait a minute, I could do what they're doing. They've been doing this 10 years, I've been doing this one year. All I got to do is study their work, find out what they're doing, and I got the opportunity to do just as much as they're doing. So I need to do that, and that's what I've did and doing and have done. Um, Jedediah Brown made a point yesterday. I was watching his live feed. If you don't know him, he's a popular activist out here, much respected, loved brother out here, and uh, he was making a point. He was saying that he has to fight for black people constantly, then turn around and fight black people. And you're damn, he's right. Let me tell you something. If you're not doing nothing about the violence in Chicago, but just talking about it, then you shut the fuck up when these activists are actually doing something. He said that he was visiting an 11 year old girl that was shot she died today he could have been doing any goddamn thing else with his time but yet he chose to be visiting this family to comfort this family it's 12 to 15 some odd million people in Chicago and out of all the fucking people he chose to visit them nobody else few other people but nobody really and a lady had the nerve to be mad, pissed up, upset at him for doing that. Why? Here's a man that took time out of his hard schedule to see about somebody else's kid. Nobody else did it. Nobody else gave a fuck. Everybody else claimed they care, but did anybody else go to the hospital and see that kid? No. Nobody else. So why the fuck are you mad at them? So, you know, man, when I see people that are actually out here doing the work, you need to take the time to donate to them, donate to their cause, and out of them. Let me tell you something. We, we, we GoFundMe, they have a GoFundMe up. Make sure you donate to that. Because they actually put the boots to the ground. They're actually out here working, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody else is just talking about it and bringing each other down. Why do we fight each other for what? The hell are we fighting each other constantly for? So, we need to clean that shit up, man. And we ain't never going to get nowhere fighting and being jealous of the next man. Understand that that is your brother, my, your sister, your niece, nephew. If you need anything from me, if you need a favor, if you hit my line, hit my line. Email me, even strangers. Hey, I need an interview on my life in the shot. Anything that I can do, I will do it. Now, I'm not going to turn my back on none of my brothers and sisters. If it's around my realm of reach, I will do it. Black 